and welcome back to my channel everybody if you guys are new here my name is Nush and uh, I make reactions here on YouTube and today we're going to be continuing on our Eurovision 2024 series which will be held in the city of Malmo Sweden on the 7th of May we have two national selections that have just concluded which is Denmark's which I was going to react to after this. But firstly, let's look at Estonia's Estee Law 2024 winner. Five Minust and Pulu have been selected to go forward to Malmo. Now, I looked at all of these songs in short snippet form a few weeks ago, and this was my favorite. So I cannot wait to see what the live performance of this was like. I did hear on my Discord popping in and out that this was a bit chaotic, but I am here for some chaos. So without further ado, let us get into this to see what Estonia has got to hold for Eurovision 2024. But before we do so, if you would like to see a full unedited reactions as well as some exclusive content, I will be uploading all of that on my members only. So if you click the join button down there, you will get to do that as well as helping support me making these videos for you further and if you are new here and love a bit of Eurovision please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel over here that is very important clicking that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and if you want to follow me over on Instagram or TikTok it is Nush101 hey hey Hey, already got me. I mean, the crowd are already loving this. Look at them. Ooh, good beat. The sunglasses. <laughs> I love this already. Oh, the eye, the strings. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that deep voice. I mean, yes, it's chaotic, but this is good for me. This is good chaos. Okay, I love this. Already from the beginning with the, hey, hey, you're gonna get your audience's attention. And I love this mix of the strings with the, contempor with the contemporary beat in the background. It's a party song. It's actually quite a English pubby song. <laughs> And with those kind of songs, I, I personally feel like do very well in Eurovision. And this is very refreshing, I think, to come out of Estonia. Normally they send either ballads or something that's a lot more polished than this. Yes, it's not like a jury voting song off the get-go. I can tell you that. But the televoters, they're going to love this as I am right now. And their vocals don't even seem bad to me. I feel like actually it's really nice to have the difference in voice tones here with the deep guy over here. Yeah, it gives some dimension to the song. And yeah, I'm loving it. The energy. Oh my God, the choreo. This is not that messy. This is actually pretty well put together. Oh! It's kind of rappy as well. <laughs> this is so meant for Eurovision. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, you've got to be enjoying this. It really maximized the uh, number of people you're allowed on stage with this. Yeah. <laughs> mm. 
Oh my gosh, this is a workout. Oh, look at that composition at the end as well. Oh, these guys. <laughs> What's going on this year? Like, are we just here to have a good time or what? Like, I am so happy about this. This is so unique that people will remember this and not go for a toilet break at all. Like, there's, there's not even a question about that. This is going to be remembered. 100%. Now, Estonia is in the second semi final. I'm just seeing is there any big contenders here that I'm afraid of so far? I'm not worried about this qualifying, you know? I'm really not. We've got Croatia and Finland in the first semi final, and they are our joke entries of the year. For me, they're not joke entries, they're just a lot of fun. Uh, this is in that category. You're gonna have a lot of people actually this year getting annoyed at these kind of entries, but let's not take it too seriously. That was an enjoyable performance and that is all that matters, like genuinely. We are here to watch Eurovision and have fun, right? Not to sit there and be depressed. Yeah, we can enjoy the ballads and feel the passion in those. Ultimately, this is almost a festival and let's, let's just see it as that. And if you're not here to enjoy music, then why are you watching Eurovision? I really think that this is gonna do well. I don't think, however, though, this is a winning song. And I don't also think that it will be Alika Bridges last year's placement, which was eighth out of the 26th participating countries. That was because that was a jury winning song. I think that it had everything right in terms of the production and quality. But I do think the televoters will eat this up. I don't think that this will do better than Finland with Windows 95 man. And if Croatia do send Rimtin Tagidim, I also don't know if it would beat that. We still have a lot of songs to come our way though, so it's really hard for me to judge that at this very point. But as I said, I can tell you a lot of people are gonna absolutely love this and have a lot of fun with this. We haven't really seen anything like this coming from Estonia for a while anyway. No, it doesn't have a super catchy riff, but you will not be sitting down when this is being played. And you're gonna have a smile on your face and that is all you want really, isn't it? Right now we have Denmark's song to look at and later on we have Lithuania's. A lot more to come our way to Today, of course, that was just what I thought. But I want to know what you thought of Estonia's song for this year's Eurovision Song Contest. Please let me know down in the comment section below. I'm going to go and I will see you very, very soon. Bye bye.